Okay, guys, welcome to Sudani Food and Lifestyle channel. Guys, today I'm going to be making apple turnover or small little apple pies, okay? And I'm going to be using filler dough, okay? And this is my filler dough right here. And I have two apple crisps, okay? These are Macintosh, okay, type apple, honey apple crisp. And I have one sweet red. So you could mix it up. You could use three apple crisp if you honey crisp if you want. Or you know, you could mix it up. Then I have my sugar, I have my butter, my fresh squeezed lemon juice here. I have cornstarch to thicken it up, nutmeg, I have ground ginger, cinnamon, salt, pure vanilla. Okay, and I'm gonna whisk this all together and I'm gonna show you how I bring it all together. Okay, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I have my apples already cut up. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna turn my um, stove on and I have a half a stick of butter. Okay, this is unsalted butter because I'm gonna be putting salt in. So you could use salted butter if you like, but I'm using unsalted butter. So I'm gonna melt my butter in my pan, okay? To melt your butter. Just take this off and throw it in here. So I'm just going to melt that in here. Just get a napkin. Okay, so I'm melting my butter. In the meantime, let me just take my apples and throw it in my dish right here. Okay, these are all my apples. They cut up. Let me get rid of this. Okay, you could use any type of apple you like, but I'm using honey crisp apple and sweet delicious red, okay? So then I'm gonna just throw on top of my apple, I'm just gonna put coat it with some lemon juice okay so just get my lemon juice here i'm just gonna get uh, lemon juice. I'm just gonna get one tablespoon of the fresh lemon juice okay and this is a tablespoon okay, here's my... oh, this butter is taking a while to melt and in the meantime, let me just get my lemon juice. I'm going to coat my apple with lemon juice. So it's one tablespoon. I'm going to put a recipe in there. Okay. And lemon juice. That oh, smells good. Lemon juice. Okay, so that is mixed already. Okay. Mix it together, and then over here, I'm gonna just gonna throw my butter in here. I'm just gonna leave one tablespoon of butter in the pan, but I'm gonna use the rest of it to coat my apple turnover. Okay, so okay, so I just leave like a teaspoon of that in here, and then I'm gonna throw my come on throw my apples in here. So I'm just gonna put this to the side and then I'm gonna throw my apple in here, okay? If you're gonna saute this, I'm gonna throw my apples in, okay? My apple with the juice, with the lemon juice. And in the meantime, I'm gonna add my ingredients as I go along, okay? So, I'm gonna stir my ingredients in, okay? So I'm gonna put half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, okay? This is my nutmeg here. And I'm gonna be using, this is one fourth. Yeah, one fourth ground nutmeg, and this is one fourth. So I'm just gonna throw one fourth nutmeg in here, okay? 
Let me just turn it down. I don't want it to go too fast. One fourth nutmeg. Let me get this out of the way because I'm finished using this. Take this out of the way. And okay, so I'm going to be putting one teaspoon of ground ginger in into the apple. Okay, let me just get one teaspoon ground ginger. It's optional. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. But put one teaspoon of butter. I mean ground ginger in there. Okay, in my apple. Okay, and then I'm going to use my vanilla extract. I'm going to use one teaspoon vanilla extract, okay? Oops, can't waste this. This is one teaspoon vanilla extract that I'm putting in there. Okay, put that to the side. Okay, and half a teaspoon of salt. This is half of a teaspoon. You know, you could use half of a teaspoon of the salt. Okay, put that in there, half a teaspoon of salt. And now I'm on my cinnamon, okay? So it's gonna be two teaspoon cinnamon. This is a teaspoon that we wipe this off. This is what. Cinnamon. I'm gonna coat it in cinnamon. Bacon can be messy sometimes. That's one teaspoon. And that's two. Ooh, that smells so good. Two teaspoon. Okay. Get this out of the way, and then I'm just gonna mix it together nicely in here for a good six to seven minutes, okay? So here it is. Let me turn the fire up a little bit more. Okay, so yeah. Yeah. Let that stew together nicely for a good six to seven minutes. In the meantime, what I'm let me wipe off my counter as I go along. Okay, let me just wipe my counter here as I go along. Get this out of the way. In the meantime, I'm gonna mix my cornstarch. Okay, let me try this down. And my cornstarch. My cornstarch is gonna be one tablespoon of cornstarch and you're going to mix it with one tablespoon of tap water okay so this is my cornstarch that i'm using okay so it's one tablespoon that i'm going to be using it doesn't fit nicely in here so i have to throw it out so this is one tablespoon of cornstarch and then I'm going to get some tap water here. One tablespoon of tap water. Okay, and you're going to mix it together, okay? So there's no lump in it. Mix it nicely. And that's going to thicken your apple pie. It's going to thicken it. I'm just going to whisk it together until there's no lump in it. Okay, let me cover this. Cover my cornstarch here. Get this out of the way. Mix this together, and then you're going to throw the cornstarch in here, okay? I'm going to just throw it in here and mix it, mix it in. Okay, that will thicken it up. For a good six to seven minutes. Okay. It smells good. Look at the color. The cinnamon really gives it a nice color. And the cornstarch gel it all together, okay? It's not so loose. It's nice, nice to gel together, okay? So we're gonna leave that. And I'll be right back. I'm going to take care. Of, and right before I go, I forgot my sugar. Okay, this is one third cup sugar. <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't see that. Here it is. My sugar. 
one third cup brown sugar, but you could use granulated sugar if you want. How could I forget my sugar? There it is. Yeah. Oh, it looks nice and caramelized. There it is. Look at how it looks. Oh, wow. It's getting nice and caramelized. It looks good. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave this for another minute or so so it could gel all together. And I'll be right back, okay? Okay, guys. So now I have my phyllo sheet, okay? And like I showed you prior, this is the filler dough that I'm using, okay? the Greek phyllo dough, okay? So I'm gonna be using four sheets for like a pie, okay? So I have one sheet right here, it's very paper thin, so they tear easily, so you gotta be very careful with it, okay? So you're gonna base it with your butter, okay? The butter that I had thrown out from my pan, so you're just gonna put some butter on it, okay? Oopsie. It's paper thin, so I need to be more gentle. <laughs> more gentle. Yeah, Co coat it properly with butter. And then you're gonna get another sheet. Okay, so this is the second sheet and try to lay it on top exactly. Okay, like you're laying a brick like that. Okay. okay, that's nice. So I'm going to use four to five layers of it, and you're going to do the repeat the same thing, okay? I'm going to brush it this way so it doesn't tear. Yeah. I'm just going to do one as, as an example and show you. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to get the third one here. Okay, third sheet, I'm going to lay it nicely on top, okay, lay it nicely on top, there you go, so that's the third sheet, yeah, you have to use more than one sheet because it's very paper thin, okay, so you can use four to five sheets. And make sure you brush your butter on it as you go along, okay? There we go, the edges. Get the edges. Okay, and then this is the fourth one here. Shoot. Lay that on nicely. The edges, okay? So that's nicely done. And then you're going to come over here and take some of your apple. Mm, that smells so good. Okay. It's not totally cool. But I'm just going to use a little here. And you're going to fold it. Okay. So you're going to take that and you're going to fold it like that. Okay. Then you're gonna just grab this like that, okay? And then you're gonna take the rest of this over here like this, okay? And then you're gonna push this under, push it under like so, okay? Okay, and then we're just gonna come over and make it, it's not perfect, but make it like a triangle like that, okay? And I'm gonna get my bacon sheet over here. And I'm gonna stick it on my bacon sheet like that, okay? And then before you put it in the oven, you're gonna brush it with some butter and throw it in the oven. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do the rest of them and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, guys, so now I have six apple turnover. Okay, now before I stick them in the oven, 
I'm just gonna brush some butter on them and that's gonna give them a nice golden brown look. Okay, they're all folded. And just brush them with some butter. It's nice. And this is a nice eggless pastry dessert. It's very nice. Okay. Brush them nicely. And I'm going to stick them in the oven for 18 to 21 minutes at 375 degrees, okay? So let me turn my oven on to bake. Put it at 375. Bake time, I'm gonna put it at 20 minutes. 20 minutes, start. I'm gonna stick them in the oven. Okay, this is what they look like. They're nice. I'm gonna stick them in the oven. And I'll be right back once they're finished baking, okay? Okay, guys, so my oven beeped and my apple turnovers, they're finished. Okay, they're nice and crisp looking and have a nice golden brown color. Okay. They're done. They're very warm, so I'm going to leave them until they're cool. Okay, look, it's nice and crisp. I could take one out and put it on here and show you. Let me make sure I don't burn myself. I'll take this out, put it right here on the plate. Look at that. <laughs> and normally I like my apple turnover or apple pie from the store, but this is homemade and that looks good. I'm just gonna wait for it to cool, okay? Okay guys, so my pie is now cool, okay? Before <laughs> it was too hot. And this is it, okay? It's nice and crispy. I'm just gonna cut it and show you, okay? What it looks like here. Mm, look, this is what it looks like. See, it's nice. Okay, let me taste it and see. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. Mm-hmm. The taste of cinnamon, the ginger, the apple. Just so nice. Mm, look at that. Look at the inside. Really nice. Okay. So this is my apple turnover um, pie. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you like my video, share it with your friends and your family. Okay, guys? And happy apple turnover bacon. Okay? Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe.